Bertazzoni is, uh, is a company established in 1882, so it's uh, celebrating this year its 130th anniversary, and it's always been a specialist manufacturer of cooking appliances. The company has been led by the same family, Bertazzoni family, through six generations. I represent the fifth generation. So the brand has a very strong heritage that is uh, related to this uh, unique history and uh, has uh, other values that are very important, that are related to being Italian and to the fact that uh, the, the, the brand itself is, uh, is also very authentic. Yeah, there are a set of values that are um, unique to, to the brand, uh, like uh, typical uh, uh, corporate quality, uh, being a specialist uh, uh, manufacturer, uh, having a long tradition of innovation and excellence and uh, having this authentic heritage. And then there are other uh, qualities that are typically Italian, like uh, engineering and design, and uh, the uh, style uh, that is uh, also a, a, a very important part of our culture, and the uh, understanding of food. We, we live in a blessed region of Emilia Romagna that is the the food basket of Italy. So this set, this set of six values, the combination of this set of six values, this, the set, set of six values make the, the brand unique. Uh, the recently developed products are uh, very in line, very much in line with, uh, with the values of the brand. And at the same time, we have uh, a lot of uh, new technologies that we have developed uh, in house. So starting always from the uh, idea that these products have to be used by the by, by people and not uh, uh, be sold in catalog with specs and, uh, and and features only, we have developed a, a product that has uh, say the best combination of uh, features and easy of use for a passionate. Uh, we use all fuels and uh, our products they can, can spend on all types of fuels. Uh, of course, uh, gas is a part of our uh, long tradition, uh, as well as now induction is coming into place with the, the advantages that it brings along. So let's say that we can cover all types of fuels. Particularly now, particularly now with the built-in range power, which is predominantly electric, but this, the flagship model being the 760 uh, with the Berzoni Intelligent Assistant uh, and, and the high rear quad blaze, I think that as a product is, uh, is a real flagship model. So in, in combining the new built-in range with the traditional Berzoni upright product, I think there's a really good offering um, in regards to uh, prestigious clients. Um, the Bertazzoni launch for us as a company and our, is, um, is really a statement about how serious we are in regards to launching the Bertazzoni uh, product into the marketplace as a standalone entity. So we see lots of opportunity in the marketplace for a brand with such heritage as Bertazzoni. Um, it's 130 years old, it's uh, got amazing processes and an amazing product range with uh, built-in appliances, upright cooking appliances. And I guess almost a subset brand of that being uh, what was larger mania in the Australian market and has now been rebranded, uh, re if you like, Bertazzoni Larger Mania. Uh, and it will also have a full range of built-in appliances and uh, an upright product too. So for us going to market, we've now got a, an absolute prestigious um, brand in the backing of a company such as Bertazzoni. Um, and then the brand that sits underneath that, which certainly won't be mass market, but uh, with a little bit wider distribution base, being the, um, the Bertazzoni Larger Mania product, um, which previously most people would know that as a Larger Mania product, but the specification has also been lifted in line with its brand repositioning. The Bertazzoni range of product is your high-end user, it's the aspirational buyer, um, Whereas the large mania, or Bert is only large mania, is your mid to high end user. Um, so none of the product is what I would term traditional mass market. Um, it's, it's more about our mid to, to upper end of the market in both countries. And certainly Bert is only is, uh, is absolute top end um, premium product. And that's how it's represented in uh, the rest of the world on a global level. Traditional retail is what we're going to support with this Anha. Um, 
the bird is only product will be uh, an absolute specialist uh, product. So around Australia, we're, we're looking to fine tune our, our customer base with Bertazzoni to maybe 25 dealers around Australia, 25, maybe 30 long term, um, but it is very much a, a specialist product. Uh, the larger mania product, whilst also being available through those specialists, um, will be available to a slightly larger customer base, um, but certainly, as I said before, it won't be mass market. It's, it's people who know cooking, it's people who um, have the ability to, to sell on features and benefits, and uh, we really want to maintain the brand equity in, the bra in, in both uh, brand names, so it's important we choose our specialists very carefully. For Elite Appliances uh, here in Melbourne, uh, KDA, uh, kitchen appliances in Western Australia. Uh, we're in negotiations in, uh, in the New South Wales market at this point in time. Uh, Michaels of Brighton. Uh, we're also looking at Bayswater Bulk in Brighton or, or Simon Burgess. Uh, his store there. Uh, eight appliances here in Melbourne. Uh, there's there's already a, a good list of established dealers that we're, um, we've got commitment from. And at this point in, uh, in time after the launch, it's really about fine tuning. Um, who we think as specialists can really represent the brand um, in the manner that you know, we want uh, the end used and uh, I guess get the product to Harvey Norman's an interesting one, Anha. Um, Harvey Norman is someone that we'd be more than happy to have a discussion with. Um, I think with Harvey Norman, certainly on a commercial level, there is potential for um, you know, opportunity there um, if, we if we were open to discussion about it. But um, I think it would be sort of premature to actually you know, talk too much about um, maybe Harvey Norman. Uh, we will look to develop a social media strategy. Um, part of tonight's event is, uh, is also revolving around building a uh, social media um, platform and strategy. So yes, we will be looking to use social media. Um, however, as I mentioned before, we, we certainly won't be uh, you know, straying away from our traditional retail customer base and into the uh, online marketplace. I think um, we're, we're certainly looking to support our traditional um, you know, retail customer base.